Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2000 and uh, 14 to year 2020. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the power outlet fuses and relays are located, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely for for your convenience please make sure you stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them guys completely apart we show you how to fix engines transmissions bodywork guys engine codes transmission codes fuses relays uh, as well guys why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos guys we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so the power outlet fuses and relays where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban here as you know guys Chevy Tahoe Suburban practically it's the same vehicle just the Suburban is a little bit longer in the back they're built on the same platform so it should work for both today we need to check fuses and relays in three different fuse boxes the first one we need to open the driver door and then here on the side of the dash guys okay you see you have that cover go ahead and remove it behind it you have a hidden fuse box that looks like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys what we need to check now we're going to zoom in this is the front side of the fuse box and if you look right here guys okay the fuse that we will uh, need to check right now guys okay uh, that fuse will be known as fuse number four we're talking about that fuse right here guys fuse uh, fuse number four right there that's the one that you will need to check uh, this fuse here will need to be checked now uh, we have another one that we have on the back side of the fuse box if you remove the back side of the fuse box you will have fuse number 50 we're talking about this one right here that you will need to check then on the passenger side we need to open that cover as well you see you have the same cover on the side of the dash remove it you have another fuse box here what we need to check guys specifically again fuse number four that 20 amp fuse right here will need to be checked and here if you turn the back side you have another one as well that's fuse number 50 on the passenger side then guys you have another one in the trunk so open the trunk on your Chevy Tahoe Suburban here in the back you see that cover remove it underneath you have another fuse box and uh, that fuse box okay let me show you what uh, what it looks like now okay like this one and here guys we need to find fuse number 14 you wonder where it's located if you come to that section right here we're talking about that 20 amp fuse right here that's the one that you will need to check as well so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses 
fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.